the sort of assessment of the current situation today. Overall, it is stable, it is under control, but we are indeed seeing uh, an increase in the number of cases, including the number of unlinked cases, uh, which we had expected and which we continue to monitor very closely. Some of these cases that we've picked up uh, arise from the active um, testing regime that we have put in place to periodically test certain segments of workers, particularly those in the higher risk groups. The difference is that during the period of the circuit breaker, people were largely staying at home. They had very few contacts with other people. And so even if one were to have the virus, it really doesn't spread very far. It ends up being a dead-end transmission because you know, you're staying at home, you have very few contacts, um, at most one or two persons in the family, and then it stops there. But today, if someone has the infection and his, but the person doesn't see a doctor quickly, goes out uh, to work, um, to dine out in an F&B outlet, then the risk of transmission uh, increases to other people. The risk of transmitting it to other people goes up and there is that risk of larger clusters uh, forming. And that's why, we, as we have highlighted, we, we now move in a lot uh, more aggressively, a lot faster to identify all the possible close contacts. So that's the new way of operating in this, in this phase because of our increased capabilities in testing and tracing. Singaporeans and residents here should expect that uh, potentially more people will be notified whenever there is a case. More people may be asked to go for testing. Uh, more people may be quarantined because we are casting a wider net around every single infected case in order to more effectively ring fence and isolate the virus and stop it from spreading to other people. While we have this enhanced um, testing and tracing capability, I think we should not take it for granted that this system is foolproof and we can catch each, every single case. Uh, we should not push the system to its limits. We should not be taking unnecessary risk. It, again, um, requires everyone to do our part, to take all the necessary precautions to stay vigilant and uphold all the social distancing measures. That's something all of us must do in order to ensure that we can continue um, with this progressive approach of resuming our activities safely.